No, I don't call it division. Okay. I call it that everybody. No, let's pin it down to the secular world. There are over seventy bars, you know, cafe bars around. Yeah. Kingdom agenda should be the foremost assignment of everybody. Sometimes, of course, some people break away. Some people leave this for some reason. But I do believe that we need more churches than more bars. Why? Because it's our salvation. The Bible says we should seek ye first the kingdom of God or heaven and all things shall be added. The reason why I am praying for more churches or let me say more pastors to start something new is that God wants more laborers in his vineyard. I would That's ask what. you, how does people move or like the change from zero to hero? Okay, um, let me begin it this way. Everybody can move from zero to hero. Wonderful. What you need first is you must have a sense of mission. Everybody here was created for a purpose. Sure. Everything you see here is not here for being here sick. Everybody was created by God for a reason. Generally, Adam was created to take charge of the world God created. But individually, everybody has been ordained by God for something bigger, something brighter, something changing, I mean life changing, like life transforming. What everybody, or I want the viewers to know right now, is that if you are watching the House of Talent show, I want you to know that God wants to do something with you. And it begins with that having a sense of purpose. But I'm not here to watch people. I'm not a spectator. 
I'm part of the team. I'm part of the show. People are living in this life as spectators. They are still on the fence, watching people, watching TV, wasting their time, Facebooking, Instagramming, WhatsApping. It's no wrong to be part of the on the internet. But the talent we have here is that people waste their life doing nothing. When they wake up in the morning, they go to the social media, waste the whole day, not achieving anything. When you have a sense of mission, when you have a sense of purpose, you will know that my time must be used to achieve something bigger. Then, then number two is this, you must have a sense of mission. Having a sense of mission is not enough. You must decide that I'm going there. I'm not here for nothing. I'm here for a reason. Yeah. I believe that God created me to inspire people. I call myself the Joseph, the, the Joseph of, of the nation. I believe in helping people to become what God has set up for them to achieve that God given talent or to, 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 to discover, to develop and to deploy that God given talent. That is what I believe the credit is. Now, when you discover, you must also develop it. When you develop it, you must also deploy it. So that's where vision comes in. Yeah. If you don't know where you're going, every place is your destination. Right. And that is what the youth of today are facing. They don't set vision for themselves. You see a young lady, you see a young man just chasing girls, drinking alcohol, dragging, becoming addicted to what they shouldn't be addicted to. I believe that when you discover your mission, you must also have the vision. The Bible says, write down the vision. And where there is no vision, People perish. In other words, they waste their time. And the third point from zero to hero is that you must also go for preparation. You don't just decide that I'm going to be a champion and uh, just stay there and be a champion. Championship requires some effort. It requires some preparation. Now let me tell you a story. Many years, many centuries ago, there was something nobody ever thought is going to be possible. And that is, people were wondering, can man run the one mile journey within four minutes? Many people, many athletes tried it. They couldn't do it. Then one day, a man by the name Roger Bannister, Roger Bannister decided that I am going to run the one mile within four minutes. He didn't just wish it. He didn't just pray about it. Yeah. But the third point is he prepared. He found somebody, a trainer, who could help him to do what he has set himself to do. And then on 6th May 1954, pressmen, journalists, the paparazzi were there. And they saw that for the first time, Rujabanista was able to run the one you know one minute you know sorry one mile within four minutes. Do you know what happened? Hundred days after, over one hundred people were able to do the same thing. What changed? Because they discovered that well, you don't just set a vision, you must also prepare towards the mission. So the number one is what have a mission, define your vision, and also. Prepare yourself to achieve what you want to do. If you want to be a journalist, you don't just say, I want to be a journalist. Father, pray, I command. <laughs> no, it doesn't go that way. If you want to be a doctor, nobody will let you become a brain surgeon and come and, 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 and cut my head open whilst you have never been through a medical school. There's a process. And that is where people don't want to do it. They want to wish. They just want to dream. It's not wrong to dream, but prepare. Yourself. Do you know why? Because if you, if you want to be a hairdresser mm -hmm. and you don't know how to even mix the hair relaxer, yeah. the cream into my hair, yeah. and there are different kinds of hair textures. Yeah. So if you want to be a hairdresser, be an apprentice, uh, apprentice, go and find out what cream applies to what hair. Otherwise, you just bend people's hair <laughs> and you blame witches. Sometimes it's not about witches. We, 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 we blame people or we, we blame the devil for some things. Yeah. We shouldn't blame him for. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that that is what the, the, the new generation must go for. There is nothing wrong preparing. The Bible says, listen, do you see a diligent man? There is what? Room for him. In other words, that 
there is a bigger place than a, w w w when you see somebody who is hardworking, who has developed his or her edge for the field God has called him into. There is no place that he cannot conquer. There is no territory he cannot, you know, conquer. I believe that there is a very point I want the viewers to know. If you want to be anybody, take your time to develop yourself and go for what God has ordained you to become. Okay, so thank you very much, Pastor. And um, what I would like to know next, if success is all about education. Good question. Uh, um, yes and no. No, we have got two kinds of education. The formal and the informal. The formal one is going through school, yeah. um, passing exams, sometimes going through the tertiary institutions, university. And then now, today, by, by God's grace, we have the internet. Yeah. We can do the non formal or the, 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 the correspondent course. And then there are some who cannot be in a classroom or cannot join the class to train themselves or to prepare themselves. They can go through what they call the informal one, what they call self development. You can train yourself. Take somebody like Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was uh, filled in almost everything he did, but he taught himself to become a lawyer. And known that he also became a high-level polit uh, you know, political figure in America, and he's noted as one of the best presidents in America, the still president of the U, I mean the U.S. of A. So what happened? Somebody who was so much born in poverty, raised by a single mother, how was he able to do that? Some development. So yes, I believe in education, and I encourage young people if you can and you have the means, go for it. That draws me to my fourth point. People don't have direction for their lives. They have got what we call, they are doing everything to, 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 to achieve their dreams, but they don't plan. You must plan. There must be a plan. When you read the first chapter of the Bible, there was something I saw, and it's amazing. Every day, God is something new. Yeah. Why? Plan. People want to do great things, but they don't want to plan. And if you are watching me, listen, let me hear this one. You can't become anybody great without planning. Even if God, the first chapter of the Bible, you see that the first thing he didn't say, let me create man. What will man drink? What will man eat? He made sure he made the environment comfortable before he created man. That's what you call planning. There should be that sequence of that. I'm doing this. From here, I'm going here. From this, I'm going here. So when you have a set of direction, let's say I'm going to Milan, which direction am I taking? Am I going through the Como Road or Como Camaso or whichever place you want to go? If you have a direction, it makes the journey easier. If you want to go on top, you must have a direction. The, 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 the one friendship thing people don't know is that when you are traveling, and you you, you 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 don't know at matter about where you're going and you don't have a plan. Go around in circles. Today that's what we call the navigator. Yeah. It makes traveling easier. very easier. Why? Because it takes you to where you want to go. That's what plan does. When you have a sense of direction, you are able to go straight to where they may be you know, listen, life is full of mean people. Life is full of many, many negative things you meet halfway I and mean, along the way. But listen, when you, you have you have plan and you you envisage that in my planning there are things that may not go on well. Like you I, I read a book from this man called Robert Schuller. I don't know whether you know about him. And I want to encourage people who are watching this show. Be a reader. Read books, at least read one book every month. The society here in Italy. One thing I find out, the youth do not like reading. They will tell you it's a language problem. Yeah. And I want to encourage everybody, wherever you are, wherever you are watching this yeah. show, be a, at least one motivational book, one inspirational book. Read books about people who were never able to make it in life. I was talking about Dr. Schiller. And I read a story in one of his books. Somebody who became one of the top biggest mathematicians, I mean, math professors in America. His, his name is called George Danzig. This is his brief story. George grew up in America, in a rural America, no money at home, 
parents were poor, living on welfare. So he said, before I can become anything, I must, I mean, go to school. And that's what the parents encouraged him, go to school, find a good job, and they You know what happened? On the day of Christmas, he overslept. He slept for, for, for about 30 minutes late into the exam time. When he went to the exam hall, everybody was sitting. Everybody had sat down. Everybody was seriously writing something. Sometimes some good things come in, in, in bad ways. Let, now he hear what happened. If there were only eight questions on the paper. And on the paper, George was able to write everything good. So he was, a, although he went in late, yeah. he was the first to hand the paper to the professor. And then the, the professor said, okay, there, is, there are some few two questions you can go and try your hands on. Now, what George didn't know is what I'm going to tell you. The professor told him, although this one you can go and try it at, in your dormitory, or in your, you know, in a home. George went home, took his time, found a way to finish the two remaining questions. Do you know what happened? None of the classmates were able to answer those two questions. And the, the, the reason is because those who went earlier on were told that these two questions are the most difficult mass questions in the world. And the, pro the, 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 the professor said, even about Einstein couldn't solve them. Because George went to the exams hall late, he didn't hear even yeah. Albert Einstein couldn't solve them. So when he went home, he went with, with, with that assurance of these are two questions, I can do it. Right. If you're watching this show, there's something I want to tell you. There's nothing like impossibility. Every impossibility is already a possibility. Cut the I am from the possibility. It means I am possibility. Now, when the two brothers, Wilbur Wright and Oval Wright, decided that they want to build an aircraft that will fly, a pastor told them, you boys are dreaming crazy. You are, you are two young boys. You, you, why don't you end up in ministry? Your, pastor, your father is a pastor. These boys said, no, there is something we want to do. There is something we want to achieve. We want to create a craft, a machine that can fly. The, the, everybody was blessing them. God, God didn't create man to, to fly. And it was like, what? Is it wrong to dream? They decided that they would do it. 1909, December, these boys built a machine that was able to suspend into the air, flew for about nine, no, I think about 12 seconds. And that was the beginning of something great. Why am I saying this? You must dare to believe that what you are doing is a possibility. You must believe in your dreams. To move from zero to hero, you must believe in your dreams. My last point is this, action. As a matter of fact, it's the last but one. Action. You must act on a dream. Don't let it just die. Act on a dream. You must pursue the dream. When God told the people of Israel, you are going to the promised land. They didn't say it in Egypt. God took them out. So you must come out and go and achieve your dreams. If you want to be a Miss Ghana, Italy, you don't just stay home. We look at the mirror. I am the Miss Ghana <laughs> of Italy. No. You go out there, join the contest, go fight and build it and, and achieve it. That's what this is all about. You don't just wash it, act on it, pursue it. The last one is determination. People don't know that life is full of failures. Every great man you see out there failed a million times. And how did they fail? Why? Because life is said that sometimes you must fail to learn a lesson. Take someone like Henry Ford. Henry Ford built his first car in his father's farm. No warehouse, no nothing. And there was a guy full of vision, full of fire. I'm going to build an automobile 
when he finished the first car, the first car had no, no, what do you call it, no reverse gear. Very funny, but today, Ford cars have, has become one of the most, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, 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 highly sought after cars in the world. If you are dreaming today and you are watching the first show, I want to give you this inspiration. It's not where you are now that really matters. It's not what is going around that really matters. It's not what people are even saying about you that really matters. Dream bigger. Go for the dream. No matter how much you fall seven times, get up, don't give up, and go for the dream again. You can become what God says you can become. You can achieve that dream. You can go over that wall. You can run. One man said, if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, Crawl. No matter what, do something to achieve a dream. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you. so much inspired. Thank you. And um, I believe the viewers out there are going to be very inspired. And this is what the show is all about. So, Pastor, before we conclude everything, what are your last words or anybody you want to greet out there? Okay. Thank you for this opportunity. I want to thank the House of Talent team for this invitation. I really, really yeah, appreciate yeah. you. I thank you, Himana. You're welcome. And I want to say this. I thank God for bringing me here to this city. I believe in being a blessing and I've come to be a blessing. And that's what I believe that anybody, anybody watching out there has been called to be a blessing. I thank God for my friends, my family, my wife, my children, Ray Malin, and also Amanda, and then also all my my pastor friends, Bishop Alfred, Bishop Oscar, Pastor Isaac, Pastor Evans, Pastor Chi, everybody who has supported me in my ministry, the Kingdom Champions team, Mama Evelyn, Elder Mike, and the rest. I can't mention names. I want to say this: God bless you. You are doing God's work together. It's such time as this. Let's give it our all. Let's give it our best. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye. Thank you very much, Pastor. And it's been an honor having you on our show today. And um, I hope any time we call up for you, you would come and inspire us as you've done or given us today too. So God bless you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So as the show is all about House of Talent and this is what it's all about, inspiring people, being a motivation. That was what Pastor Williams did for us today. I hope you would be inspired as we were today. And um, those of you who have kept your talent in boxes, I pray and I believe that after this wonderful episode, you're going to get there, bring those dreams out and work on them. We are all pregnant with so many dreams, so many visions we need to, we need to give back to them. So please, please and please, with the help of God, let's bring all those dreams to out and um, work on them, put them into practice. I mean, start acting on them. And I hope God is going to bless us all and take us far um, for where, where, take us to where he wants us to be. This is what the show is all about. And I pray that we would all be blessed by this. It was me once again, Ohima Sewa Brakitu, and this was the House of Talent. Thank you. Wine spin it on the wine spin it You not on the mix yet To the house of talent TV show <laughs> Here we go I always see you on the TV presenting Oh yeah Very beautiful and intelligent So humble I must say That's for sure Oh he must sell a braca too Versatile with smile on the face uh -huh. House of talent what gives me education yeah. Talent more and more House of talent what gives me the inspiration yeah. Yeah. To hold on to my to dream, hold on to my ah. dream. Oh he must sell a braca too House of talent everybody want more Oh he must sell a braca too House of talent everybody want more We want more we want watch, it's what everybody want watch. We want watch, we want watch, it's what everybody want watch. We want watch, we want watch, it's what everybody want watch.